second episode of Music Monday. In today's lesson, I'm going to teach you how to read and play this piece of music. I know what you're thinking, that looks so difficult and I don't even know how to read music, but it's really quite simple when you learn how to crack the code. So let's get started. When I say go, I want you to pause the video and run and find yourself some sticks and a surface to play on just like we did in the last video. And if you don't have any sticks, you can play on your knees just like this. Okay, pause it right now and go get all your equipment sorted. Okay, to learn this piece, we need to learn three rhythms. The first rhythm we're going to learn are crotchets. Crotchets are really simple. There are four crotchets in a bar of music and we count them like this. One, two, three, four. Just like that. Let's play them with the music below and I'm gonna count you in first. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Let's go again. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Last time. One, two, three, four. Okay, let's move on to rhythm number two. These are quavers and there are eight quavers in one bar of music and we count them like this. One and two and three and four and. So let's play them with the music down below and I'm going to count you in again. One, two, three, four. One and two and three and four and. One and two and three and four and. Let's go again. One and two and three and four and. Last time. And two and three and four and. Okay, so they were quavers. The first rhythm we learnt were crotchets. The second rhythm was quavers. And then the third rhythm we're going to learn today are semiquavers. So there are 16 semiquavers in a bar and we count them like this. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. Okay, so I'm gonna count you in and you play them with me with the music down below. One, two, three, four. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. Okay, we'll stop there. Let's do that again. One, two, three, four. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. Let's do it again. Let's do it twice. One, two, three, four. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. Stop. Let's review the three rhythms that we just learned. So we just learned crotchets, quavers, and semiquavers. Let's put them all together into one exercise now. I'm going to count you in first again. So let's go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Quavers, one and two and three and four and. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a, stop. Okay, let's try that one more time. I'm gonna count you in again. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One and two and three and four and one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a, stop. Okay, now this time we're going to play that twice in a row. So follow me, let's do it twice all the way through. One, two, Three, four. One, two, three, four. One and two and three and four and one e and a two e and a three e and a. Back to the start. One, two, three, four. Quavers. One and two and three and four and semiquavers. One e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a. Stop. Oh, there we go. That was a good exercise. Okay, now we are going to count through that page of music that I showed you at the start. It is made of all different combinations of crotchets, quavers, and semiquavers. You can watch me play it first, and then you can copy along the second time. Okay, I'm going to play it. I'm going to count you in. We're going to start right now. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One and two and three and four and one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one, two, three and four E and a one and two and three E and a four and one and two E and a three and four E and a one, two, 
three and four and one E and a two E and a three E and a four. Okay, that last note has a little, it's like a sideways triangle over top. That's an accent, so we hit that a little bit harder. So that last line looks like this. One E and a two E and a three E and a four. Nice hard note to finish. Okay, let's do that one more time and you can copy along with me this time. Can you play it with me? Let's do it. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One and two and three and four and one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one, two, three and four E and a one and two and three E and a four and one and two E and a three and four E and a one, two, three and four and one E and a two E and a three E and a four. Oh, there we go. That was the whole exercise the whole way through. So what you can do, you can keep watching this video, keep going over and over and see if you can play through that exercise from start to finish watching the music. Okay, let's go through one time now. Let's go a little bit faster and see if you can keep up with this one. Ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One and two and three and four and one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one, two, three and four e and a one and two and three e and a four and one and two e and a three and four e and a one, two, three and four and one e and a two e and a three e and a four. How good was that, everybody? That is playing through that whole piece of music. So what you can do, you can keep going over and over this video and watch that music and play through with me. And if you count, you count your crotchets. One, two, three, four. Your quavers, one and two and three and four and. And your semi-quavers, one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. You can crack the code and make your way through the whole piece of music. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope you can remember crotchets, quavers and semi-quavers. I'll be back with another Music Monday very soon, but until then, I will see you later. Bye.